Hey, what's good, John? How y'all doing? How y'all doing it, man? We back with another video, bro. And today, today we talking about how the Steelers have started their first days of OTAs. And we're talking about how the Steelers now have a new general manager. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to tell everybody, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, sharing, subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing that. Keep doing that so we can grow this channel so we can be big. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get into the video. So, yesterday was announced that the Steelers have a new general manager. We've learned that Kevin Colbert, this was going to be his last year coming into this year. His last big take he was going to have in his general manager role was going to be the draft. And obviously, he got us through that in free agency. And honestly, I think he did great for his last draft. You know, we got Kenny Pickett, George Pickens, Calvin Austin, DeMarvin Lill. We got guys. He brought uh, Cam Avery's brother, you know. Not 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 bad picks, not bad picks. And then free agency, we got we get Miles Jack. You know, we resigned a couple people. You know, um, but yeah, Omar Khan is now our is officially our new general manager. Now, yes, he is an in house hire, but this is an in house hire that I don't have a problem a problem with. He is, or he was, the former vice president for our team. He was the vice president, and now he's been promoted to general manager. Now, I don't got too much to speak on this for because I don't know too much about Omar Khan, so I'm not going to act like I'm about to come here and just, you know, have a whole bunch of words to say for Omar Khan. But to me, I feel like this is a pretty good uh, general manager signing, you know. We're going to see what it's about. Hopefully, he can re-sign a couple bulls for us, you know. Minka still need a contract. Deontay needs a contract. Hopefully, he can get all that done since he'll have the head duties in the front office now. And, you know, hopefully, he can be that general manager to try to pull in more free agents for the Steelers, try to try to get the great draft picks, you know, try to take shots in the draft, you know. But to me, it's not that big of a deal to me. Either way, we had to get a general manager. Uh, Kevin Colbert, he did a great job while he was here. So shout out to him for having an amazing career and helping us out through all the years. I believe he was here since like, I don't know, two, I, I don't even know if I was born when he was here. I'm not going to lie. Moving on to OTAs, the Steelers started their first day of OTAs yesterday. Back. What a time. Who's talking? 13? Wow. <laughs> oh. Yes. Hi. Hey, and here, I'm going to just throw up a whole bunch of pictures of everybody, you know, because it's not too much to talk about. But one thing that was talked about was Stefan Tuitt. Stefan Tuitt did not show up. He did not show up to OTAs. And, you know, I figured he wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we did kind of get some some insight from Cam Hayward. Cam Hayward said he's talked to Stefan Tuitt. And he said, he said Stefan Tuitt is getting better. You know, he's, he, he expects him to be here. Maybe not now, but later in OTAs and maybe later before the season starts so that's good news hopefully we can take cam hayward's word for it you know i feel like cam hayward's the team leader he's the he's the vocal leader of the team so i'm pretty sure cam hayward got in touch with his defensive buddy stefan to and i'm pretty sure stefan to has talked to cam hayward so i'm gonna take cam Hayward's word for it. hey maybe stefan to will show we might see stefan to it but i just wanted to come here and update all, all my stiller fans on this quick video all my cons our new general manager our boys is at training camp. You know, we got to see Najee and them work. We got to see George Pickens and them work. We got to see some guys work. You know what I'm saying? We got to see Brian Flores uh, coaching Devin Bush and Miles Jack. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully that linebacker duo can be nice. We, we we got to see some film of some guys. We got to see all our quarterbacks in a row throwing the ball. You know, Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph, Mitch Trubisky, even Chris Aludicon was out there. You know, we got to see some guys. Got to see some guys work, so. Hey, just wanted to come here and update y'all on this quick video. Love y'all. Make sure I like, share, subscribe, like I said in the video. I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video. Subscribe, 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 subscribe so we can grow the channel. You know what I'm saying? The quicker we can grow the channel, the quicker we can be lit and we can be up there with the main bulls. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications so y'all can be the first bulls to get my video. Once again, I love y'all. Everybody, please stay safe because the world is crazy. The world is crazy. You know, it's, a, it's been a lot of mass shootings and all that going on. So everybody, just please stay safe. Keep y'all kids safe. Keep y'all family safe. Stay close to each other. Watch your surroundings. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I love y'all. And I'm out.